1927. I wasn't around then, most of us weren't. But that year, the Ford Motor Company sold its first Model A for $385, by the way. It's when the first flight from the West Coast arrived in Hawaii and the giant panda was discovered in China. Also in 1927, Marcotte opened its doors. Here to explain the company's role in this day and age, Dan O'Halloran, Bob Foster, and Katie Kluver. It's nice to have you back and nice to have both of you on the show today. Dan, I'd like for you to describe your company. I think about it as having maybe three arms. Sure, sure. Break well, it down. Well, Marcotte is a risk management and financial services company. As you said, we've been in Omaha since 1927. Mm -hmm. We serve clients all over the Midwest, and yeah, there are definitely three arms. We do mm -hmm. the property casualty, both for businesses and individuals, and then we have health insurance or group benefits, and then Bob is in the financial services uh, 401k venue. Describe the trends you've seen in the last few years. Well, one of the big things we've seen in the Omaha marketplace is the locally owned agencies have been bought out by large multinational mm. insurance brokerages. Mm -hmm. Marcotte has fought against that trend and uh, you know, we're f fiercely independent uh, about being local, about being able to provide that local service. As a local show, let me tell you, we <laughs> identify with that, yeah. we appreciate that, we understand it's not always easy, but it's rewarding Absolutely. quite often. Absolutely. Um, Bob, what are the most important factors for employers in today's market. I know this is your specialty. Yeah, we, we do a lot of work in, in 401k consulting and in today's marketplace it's really, uh, we think it's about simplicity, trying mm -hmm. to make things as easy as possible and we think employers should try and bring that methodology to their retirement plans. Mm -hmm. um, try and make the plans as simple as possible. So use automatic features like automatic enrollment and automatic contribution increase. Default your people into target date funds. People don't understand investments. They've shown that and they really don't like making that decision. Yeah. So make it easy for them, put them into a target date fund or an asset allocation portfolio. Well, don't you think that the, the stakes are so high for it and you feel all this pressure to get it right, but if you don't know what you're doing, it's almost like, well, I'm not going to do anything. Yeah, <laughs> and, 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 and emotions, we, we were very human about the way we relate to our money and, and, and you don't want to have emotional responses when markets are good and markets are bad. Mm -hmm. So those target date funds work really well for that and, and uh, so it's really important that, that, that plan sponsors take that fiduciary responsibility very, very seriously mm -hmm. uh, and, and, and really try and provide their partners with a, with a really solid, simple plan. Here are some of the features you were just talking about. Yep. So if you're at home and you, you want to read up, please do. Um, as an employee at a company with a retirement plan, what are the keys to success? Are there a couple uh, that you think are most important? Yeah, I, I think it's really important. Again, people get overwhelmed. We make this really, really complicated. Mm -hmm. I, we try and make it very simple. First thing is you can't invest your way to retirement. You got to save your way to retirement. So save 10%. That make that your goal. The national average is about four and a half. So getting to 10 is a real, real yeah. accomplishment. Mm -hmm. But get to 10%. Put your money into a, a well allocated portfolio. Don't try and be the investment expert unless you really are. Um, let somebody else take care of that for you. And then most importantly, we think is do a retirement calculation. As difficult as that might be, a lot of people, if, if you run that and you're on track, you're the exception. If you run it, you're way behind. Mm -hmm. Make Take the steps yeah. necessary to, to change that. On the graphic, it said track your progress, even <laughs> if it hurts. Even if it hurts. Right, we're all on these Absolutely. resolutions right now, and I'm thinking about journaling food, where you're like, man, it, I did eat a pound of chocolate yesterday. It, <laughs> <laughs> you know, but like, that's, you got to look the, the facts in the eye. You do, and people become very fatalistic about it. They think, well, I'm never going to be able to retire. I'm not going to be able to do that. Look, we're all going to retire at some point in time, mm -hmm. whether you want to or not. Your body may tell you, you can't work anymore. So it's really important yeah. to sit down and do the calculation, doing some simple changes like increasing your contribution level by very small increments mm -hmm. or simply working a little bit longer into retirement or perhaps working part-time can make a big difference in what that looks I like. I see what you're saying. Katie, let's get to another subject that's anything but simple, <laughs> right? It's health care <laughs> and so many of us the last few years have had to pay more attention to this. So health care, it's expensive for employers, I've heard, upper management within our company talking about this. Mm -hmm. What does Marcotte do to provide clients with help in this area? Well, definitely health care in this country is becoming more expensive. And the things that um, doctors and hospitals can do for us anymore is becoming just amazing. Mm -hmm. But along with that comes the cost of health care insurance. And so at Marcotte, we try and do, just like Bob said, try and make it simple. And we look at one main number, and that's the out-of-pocket maximum for an employee. So God forbid something terrible happened, what would be the limit on their expense? 
The way that we do that is we try and buy a very low premium from the insurance company mm -hmm. and then take that savings and make a more superior plan for the employee that makes their out-of-pocket as low as possible. And don't you have dozens of relationships so you can go to these uh, different <laughs> places and sort of say, let's find the best deal possible here? We do, and that's what's great about being local here in Omaha. You know, we can go into Blue Cross Blue Shield of Nebraska's office. We can go into mm -hmm. Coventry's local office. Yeah. And we can help but sit down with the decision makers and, and get the best solution for the employer. Mm -hmm. So here's some information, advantages for Mark Hot and clients on the subject of the Affordable Care Act. Mm -hmm. Are you making that easy for employers too, <laughs> helping, helping them adapt? I mean, easy is probably not a fair word, but I'm baiting you. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's another thing that's changed a lot yeah. is they expect us to be consultative and that's what our clients are looking for. They yeah. don't want us to sell them a product. Mm -hmm. and you can right. speak to that, Katie, for and sure. And with the Affordable Care Act, it's become very complicated. And the number one thing that, that has complicated it is the compliance issues, mm -hmm. making sure you get the right paperwork to the right employee on the right date. And so our national partnership has allowed us to bring in some human resource um, experts in the industry to help employers with that, that so complicated important. mess. The <laughs> website we're looking at um, right here for Marcotte, and listen, there is so much information that we haven't been able to cover this morning, but there is quite a bit of it online, and I'd encourage you to visit that site. It's Marcotte, I-N-S, short for insurance.com. Um, in Omaha, near 114th Miracle Hills Drive, if you're familiar with that area, uh, we showed you the number there too. As soon as the two of you walked in, I had a flashback <laughs> to yesterday. I said, Mike and I look very similar. <laughs> so do you notice in their Merlot sweaters, and no, they didn't plan it, is, but this is me and Mike from yesterday. And do you notice you're even wearing a light blue button down underneath just as Mike did, but <laughs> I couldn't help. Mike should check his closet. <laughs> He was missing the logo, though. <laughs> yeah. uh, listen, Katie, Bob, we'll nice to see that. you. Dan, great to have you on the Thank show. You. We appreciate Thank your time. You. All right, think Lego bricks. So just for playing, still ahead, what well, one artist built that could blow your mind. First, ways to prevent spreading the flu and what to do when those symptoms first show.